the 1950s in the United States, it was called the golden age of capitalism. And it was, there was a certain amount of output. So there was, there was this much output per capita in the economy. And then 40 years later, there was double that. Almost exactly, just coincidentally, double the amount of output per capita. So if you think about it, you realize that if in 1995 people work half as long as they work in 1950, right, in 1955, um, then the output per person will be the same as it was in, 19, in the golden age of capitalism. So you, you sort of ask yourself, well, why aren't we working one month on and one month off? Or why aren't we working a three-and-a-half-hour week? After all, that technological innovation has created the condition in which we could do that, and we'd be as well off as in the golden age of capitalism. So why don't we do it? And the answer is because markets don't let us. It's not that, that everybody got together and decided we'd rather work twice as long and we ra as, as we could. And in fact, people work longer than they worked in 1955. People didn't decide, I want to do that. I mean, even the rich lawyers didn't decide, I want to do that. Rather, market competition compels it, coerces it. Because if you don't do it, you get out-competed. So there's this drive to accumulate, this drive to, to work ourselves to death, in essence. Now, it's also true that that extra, where'd the extra product go, right? If, if, where'd the double the output go? Well, it partly goes to military stuff to protect the system. It partly goes to police stuff to protect the system. It partly goes to cleaning up the ecological messes that the system produces. And it partly goes to the rich. And so the normal person is marginally better off. And in fact, from 1970 to the present, the normal person doesn't get better off at all. All the advantages go to the powerful and the rich. Uh, it's, a, it's a horrendous system.